What the tech? Hey guys, one of the questions we get all the time is, okay, I got my uh, SMP, Inferno, Hydra, and I installed it, and the hop-up isn't doing what I want it to. It's applying inconsistent hop, BBs are kind of going, and then some go up, some go down, some maybe go straight. Why is this? Uh, what, what's going on that, that this is happening? Uh, I want to start by going over a little bit of th uh, theory of hop-up. But hang in there with me. I'm not going to make it too dry and boring. We're going to we're going to talk a little bit about how the hop up works. Hop up works when you have a BB. And you have a little rubber pad here. There's downward force on the pad. That's from your hop up bucking. The BB gets pushed past the hop up nub, and it applies backspin. So now the BB is spinning backwards as it goes down the barrel, and it's going to continue to spin backwards as it flies. Uh, that's what gives it the lift that helps it fly straight rather than just dropping off in a normal trajectory. Now, the amount of spin that you put on the BB is going to determine how much lift you get, whether it goes up or down, or it just flies nice and straight. The amount of spin is going to determine that. that. Now, spin is equal to a function of this force here, call it F, and then this force here, we'll call that F1, and we'll call this F2, and F2, okay? So, what does that mean? It means that the amount of spin that you have is a function of how hard you're pushing down on the hop-up and how fast you push the BB past the hop-up. The faster you push the BB, the more spin you're going to get. The harder you push down, the more spin you're going to get. Conversely, the slower you push the BB and the less force you put down, the less spin you're going to get. Okay, so why does that matter? When you have an open bolt system, uh, there's a parameter that is more critical than it is with a non-open bolt system or a closed bolt system. That parameter is the hop-up bucking. Okay. Let's take a look at what's happening inside your cylinder. This is your hop-up bucking. Here's your nub, and then your hop-up chamber here. And it goes like this. Your feed tube sits right here, and BBs come up. Now, you're gonna have one BB sitting here, and your nozzle sitting back here. There's the rest of our hop-up. So this is basically the hop up. When you're seeing inconsistent amounts of hop, generally what is happening is uh, you're pushing the BB past the bucking with different amounts of speed, F2 here, how fast we're pushing it past. Why is that? Some buckings are very loose. So we have a hop up bucking here. We're gonna take a look at this. On this bucking, if I drop the BB in, the BB will push right past with almost no resistance and go down the barrel. What that means is that as the nozzle is pushing forward, sometimes because of you know the BB's pushing up and other forces in the system, the BB's actually going to kind of start shooting before the nozzle fully seals. So your nozzle will be not quite sealed and your BB's already in here getting pushed past the nub. If it's not fully sealed, then you're not going to be pushing as hard because you can't build as much air pressure. So those shots are going to drop off a little bit. It doesn't really affect the velocity, but you're not going to get as much spin on it. The BBs that wait longer to go into the chamber, they get pushed with more force because the nozzle is now fully sealed, and you get more backspin. So they go up. How do we, how do we fix it? How do we get consistent resistance at the hop-up bucking here so that we get consistent hop on the gun? There are a number of ways you can go about doing it. And we're going to take a look at a few of those here today. One way we recommend to people that are uh, just sort of getting used to an open bolt style system is just to use a Mad Bull Red Shark bucking. These buckings have little teeth on the inside that hold the BB more securely. So 
if we put that on there, even with no, even with, outside of the hop up, it's going to take a little force to get past the bucking ups. And even a little more once we put it inside the hop up. Okay, so this is a quick, um, quick and easy way. Uh, almost always fixes this issue when, it, when you just put one of these buckings in. But not everybody wants to use those buckings, not everybody has access to them. So what are the other variables that, that you can adjust in order to make this better? The amount of resistance from the bucking is going to be a function of a few different things. One is going to be the geometry of the bucking lips themselves, as well as their, the material they're made out of, um, and all that kind of stuff, how, how stiff the bucking is. Another is the geometry of the inside of the hop-up chamber. You notice there are these edges here. Those edges actually support the bucking lips. Um, some hop-ups, these are wide open, so they provide basically no support to the bucking lips at all. That's not good. Others, they're much narrower. For instance, the element. Element makes a, uh, a hop-up chamber. It's a plastic version similar to the ProWin that tends to have a tighter internal geometry and tends to help with this issue to some extent. Uh, we, we like using them. They, they tend to provide really good results with a lot of different buckings. You can also try using a harder bucking, something that has, it, the material itself is a little harder and provides a little more resistance. Uh, buckings that are super soft tend not to provide much resistance. But e no matter what bucking you're using, there is a method you can use that will, uh, that you can use to tighten it up. For those of you that have one particular style of bucking you really like and you want to work with that, you really can make it work in just about any hop up if you adjust it a little bit. And we'll go take a look at how that works. All right, so third option is that we are going to put some Teflon tape around the shoulder of the bucking right in this area. Uh, the goal here isn't to use the Teflon to compress the lips directly, but it's to just add some extra material so the edges of the hop-up chamber uh, support the bucking lips better. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. We have our hop-up. It's just a stock ICS hop-up. It's pretty soft. If you drop a BB through, it goes through pretty easily. We have super glue with brush style applicator. You definitely want the brush style. It makes it a lot easier. Nice sharp razor blade and Teflon tape. So we're going to jump right in here and show you how it's done. It is a little bit tedious. We're going to wrap right around the shoulder of the hop up. The goal here is to wrap it around the shoulder without getting it up over the edge and inside the hop up. That's what we don't want. That's going to cause odd behavior. Not desirable. Uh, I generally go for right about two rat, two complete wraps, and then I'm just going to trim it off. You can see it's not wrapped over the end at any point. Um, it's got a little space away from the edge. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our brush. You don't need much glue on it. Just kind of dab it off. You just need a real little bit. And particularly, we're going to hit the end, right where the end of the tape lays down. But I'm going to go real lightly around the whole thing. You don't want to get it inside your hop up, but you want to just, you want to just lay it down a little bit there. All right, that'll be good. Now we're going to take our razor blade, and I'm just going to again real lightly. You don't want to cut into the bucking here. Just a real light touch. You're just uh, sort of scribing through the Teflon. And once you do it should be able to just pull that whole lower portion of the Teflon off. You don't need any of that, okay? So now we're left with just the part around the shoulder and not up the top. I'm gonna get just a little bit more glue and I'm gonna hit the bottom edge, right around the bottom here, just to make sure it sticks down. Again, you don't need much. Go with a dry brush, just, just a real little bit around the edge. You don't wanna put a ton on there and make the bucking all uh, stiff. I'm going to wipe off the excess and avoid getting my fingers stuck together in the process. And that should be good. Uh, we can let that dry for a minute and go ahead and install it back in the hop up. You'd want to let it dry a little longer than that just to be sure, but for the sake of not making the video last forever, we're going to speed it up. Now, when we drop a BB through, we can test how much resistance we have. And that feels right about right. 
you can see it. I drop it through. You kind of tap on it, it doesn't go through. You have to push a little bit. You don't want a ton of resistance because you might cause a jam, but you do want it to take a little bit of work to get through. And at that point, we're good to go. We can just put it back together like normal and we're, uh, we're set. Our goal here was, uh, since it's an open bolt system, we want more resistance from the bucking, uh, resistance from the bucking to the BB entering the chamber. So there's a few ways we do it. One option, go with a bucking like the Mad Bull Red that just uh, by itself pro provides more resistance. Uh, there are other options out there that have stiffer bucking lips that uh, provide more resistance like you want, but the Mad Bull Red is sort of our go-to for that. You can use a hop-up with a smaller inner diameter. Uh, again, the one we go to for that is a, an Element, uh, the plastic Pro-Win imitation hop-up. They have a newer black one that we th think is the same but have not gotten to test yet, but we use the red one. Uh, the Teflon tape uh, is certainly the most involved uh, option, but the nice thing is it doesn't require, bu require buying new parts. Uh, you can just use what you have, and it gives you the, the option to use any bucking you want, really. Uh, just about anything can work with that. All right, guys, so that's it for the first episode of What the Tech. Uh, be sure to hop on and give us a follow on YouTube for more What the Tech videos from me, as well as product updates and lots of good stuff from Wolverine Airsoft. Give us a comment in the section below. Let us know what subject you want uh, me to go over in future What the Tech videos. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you out on the field. What the tech?